Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, we are going to look at a new language model that has been created by Microsoft called Phi2. Now, this month has already been very crazy when it comes to large language model. We have seen Mistral releasing uh, a mixture of expert model uh, that basically ATX 7B by Mistral AI, which is a France based startup. They have released a couple of models, you know, a Mistral instruction version 2 model, which is a 7B model, and the other one is a ATX 7B model, okay, uh, which is an SMOE, sparse mixture of expert model. Now, Microsoft has released uh, Phi 2, which is amazing because uh, there is now a wave in the in entire AI community and the industry as well about a small language model. Now they're talking about, people have started talking about small language model. This is coming from investors. You know, uh, this is coming from the enterprises. This is coming from the CXOs, right? That there is a wave of a smaller language model. And uh, Microsoft has a great journey with Phi family. You know, they have Phi 1, Phi 1.5, and now Phi 2. It has been released uh, just few hours ago when I'm creating this video. Uh, you can see it says currently on my screen, Phi 2, the surprising power of small language models. Okay, uh, which is, you know, you can see Sundar Pich, uh, excuse me, you know, Sundar Pichai in my head due to Gemini, but Satya Nadella announcing Phi 2 at Microsoft Ignite 2023. Okay, which is which is fantastic right because if you look at it, it's only 2.7 billion parameters and in the demo that uh, Satya Nadella and the on this website that you'll find it out it has solved some complex physics problem that's what they have been saying and right now it's not commercially available you cannot use it for commercial purposes it is available for the research purpose it is available on azure ai studio not available on hugging face it is available within azure and that that's pretty right. Uh, like it makes sense because they have uh, Microsoft Azure where they want to build AI products uh, there okay, within their Azure uh, cloud. And if you look at here, they have a blog post right now uh, where they explain that they started this journey with 5.1. I think I was the one of the first creators who created video on 5.1 and explained the textbook is all you need. The paper that the, the Microsoft published that that's called textbook is all you need. It's a 45 minutes plus video. Find it out in my playlist. The very detailed theoretical video on the different architecture that they you know used in 5.1. I remember in 5.1, which is 1.3 billion parameter. The data quality was something that Microsoft research was focusing on for a better data quality, the way they model the data for the training purpose. That's where they you know, came up with 5.1. As a later, they had 5.1.5, again, a 1.3 billion parameter, you know, which is pretty equivalent to 5x uh, larger LLMs. Now they have come up with 5.2. 2.7 billion, you know, uh, it has outperforms models up to 25x large. For example, you know, widget coder or those kind of model of 34 uh, uh, billion parameters bracket. You can see it says it's available in Azure AI Studio model catalog to foster research and development on language models. Okay, and some key insights. As I was talking, the textbooks are all you need. From attention is all you need. They have a lot of papers, right? So textbooks are all you need. This is something that I already have created a video on that. I'll give the link in description. Check it out. Now, they have shown the training details as well. They have comparison between 5.2 and 5.1.5. All tasks are evaluated in zero sort, except, of course, MMLU, where you have to use some uh, samples of so three sort caught and five sort for MMLU, which makes sense. And you can see the performances. I think the greener one is 5.2, which has surpassed on every evaluation when you compare with 5.1.5 so of course it's an improved model and you can see for language understanding it has done well uh, for math and coding it has done a bit well and common sense reasoning is something that they have you know focused in this blog as well the training details they have given some training details that you can go through it uh, how they have used but evaluation is something that i would like to talk uh, you can find out here on Phi 2 is performed better than Llama 2 and Mistral for 2, at least another 7 TV, by the way, which is which makes sense, right? There will be some trade-offs. If you want to, uh, you know, optimize on compute, then you have there should be some trade-off on the performance, right? There will be a bit degradation, but I think this is fair because there's not much uh, difference. If you look at here, it has performed well uh, up to 13B model. Okay, so it has performed definitely better. 
in math it has done really well okay even for the llama 13b uh, it, it has done well so it's, it's better it's it's a better model than mistral as from the evaluation standpoint we have to test it out on our real use cases we'll do that then you have model gemini coming in recently you know the, with the closed source one uh with, by google and you can see it over here right so mmlu uh 55 56 performs better and then couple of demos that they have given here that you, you look at here on this uh thing now you can find out all the papers uh, the authors mojan java heripi and sebastian bubeck okay uh and this is what it is so the blog post uh, you can find it out now the thing is that i am currently on my azure portal okay where you know i have i am inside azure ai studio you can see i am in azure ai studio i have logged in now what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on browse the model catalog i want to show you where you can basically you know uh, uh look at this model search for it once you come into this model catalog okay on microsoft azure portal Okay, you will see a bunch of LLMs, the different kind of NLP models, language models, and so on and so forth, right? That's where you find it here. Now, the best way of filtering it, you can also search it in the search box, and you can just click on Microsoft Research because Phi2 is by Microsoft Research. Once you do Microsoft Research, you will find it out here, something called Microsoft Phi2 Text Generation. Now, once you have to click on that, now once you click on that, it takes you to this page. Microsoft Phi 2 task text generation languages English license other which is you know you cannot use it commercially then you have deploy you have real time deployment you have license that you can read you have some descriptions you know it says our model and the thing about Phi 2 is that it has not been uh, trained or fine tuned through re uh, not training of course the fine tuning has not been done through reinforcement learning uh, or the rlhf of the world right so they haven't used for fine tuning okay they are saying it the intention behind crafting this open source model is to provide the research community with a non restricted small model to explore vital safety challenges such as reducing toxicity understanding social biases enhancing controllability and, and so on and so forth right over here now it says Phi2 model is best suited for prompts using the QA format, the chat format, and the code format. That's what they are talking about the intended uh, in, intended uses. Out of scope, it's for research purpose. The model generated text could be treated as a starting point. So you cannot use it mainly for a large scale enterprise, you know, in delivery or some kind of thing. You cannot do that. Okay. Of course, you can do it, but don't expect some transformation over there. There are some limitations: language, potential, social biases, toxicity and inaccurate code and facts that's that, that those are the things now the architecture is that's a transformer based model and the next with next word prediction objective very high level i don't know talking about you know things of our transformers and rnn and uh, those sort of things right everybody knows it there's not much detailed information here uh, for this model 250 billion tokens llama 2 has around 2 trillion tokens so fairly very less training tokens uh data size size okay sorry excuse me data size size 1.4 is still uh, is still smaller now gpu 96a100 <laughs> this is crazy i have to spin up run pod okay for one a100 i have to put my credit but imagine 96a100 and 80g of virtual ram 14 days to train wow and you know it, it has used gpt4 and gpt3.5 with falcon refined wave and slim pajama as a data set so combination of data they would have done a great job on data to get this kind of performance with a smaller model now it's software for deep speed they have used for you know faster training configurations flash attention uh, for again uh, the same purpose then pytorch has been used as a back end and then you have a couple of stuffs over here now this is the page where you can do it you can deploy also if you have your uh, infra ready you can do that as well and you can also find the model uh, model id here uh, that this is the model id that you are looking for and you can deploy it if you have your infra ready probably you can just click on deploy it's very easy it's drag and drop right you don't have to do a lot of things just click on deploy and just put your model uh, project name and then you can uh, basically also set up a virtual machine you need some kind of compute power to do it uh, some of the ns uh, compute or whatever compute it's not a big model so you don't i think you do not have to worry about it but this is what i wanted to create right a short video okay not much information available from a training standpoint or the uh the kind of architecture that they have used on a very high level okay, so this is what i wanted to cover in this video guys i hope you 
you know, you were, you were excited for Phi 2 and testing it out for different use cases for whether it's code generation, for reasoning or RAG kind of an implementation. And more videos, of course, we'll create some videos on RAG and some kind of use cases using Phi 2 and then we'll evaluate on our data, the information that we have. Okay. I'll give the link in description so you can try it out. Uh, you can also set it up if you have an Azure uh, cloud. You can do that here. Uh, let me know your findings, thoughts, and uh, 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 feedbacks of Phi2 in the comment box. If you like the video, please hit the like icon. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do subscribe to the channel. Uh, that's all for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.